Supreme Court led the Buhari government to torture the nine Namdekano justice. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. The Supreme Court of Nigeria is no longer what it used to be since Buhari government took over Nigeria. As the leading force. The Supreme Court has denied and frustrate Namde Kano, obstructing his release from detention despite the October 13, 2022 ruling of the appeal court, which acquitted and discharged the public. We have done our best to enlighten and alert the international community to what we see as a deliberate obstruction of justice by the Supreme Court. In the case of Kano, who is being detained by the Department of State Service, DSS. Kano has been detained by President Muhammad Buhari government since June 2021, when he was reditioned to Nigeria from Kenya, what I call kidnapped. We can also remember that Justice of Abuja, P. Court, sitting in Abuja, on October 13th, 2022, unanimously discharged an acquitted colonel of all charges brought against him by the Nigerian government and ordered his immediate and unconditional release while bearing the government from further prosecuting the IPOB leader. Similarly, the Omaha High Court, or should I say similarly, the Omaha High Court also ordered the federal government of Nigeria to return Mazen Namdekano to Kenya, where he was adopted, tortured, and the extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. But despite everything, Nigerian government and their collaborators, the British government, has refused to obey their own court orders. Instead, they erroneously want, went to the Supreme Court to obstruct justice by filing an appeal to their own lower court ruling. The secessionist group stated that one would have expected the Supreme Court to throw out the appeal by Nigerian government for disobedience to the appeal court order or expedite actions on the case bordering on international crimes and human rights abuse. Instead, they deliberately decided not to fix a date to hear the appeal before them, it has been over 100 days since their federal government appealed the judgment of their appellate court, which discharged and acquitted Mazen Namde Kano. Yet, the Supreme Court has not fixed a date for the hearing. The Bia France perceived the Supreme Court justice as colluding with the federal government to delay and the Naima has the Kano's justice. The Nigerian government, which is in violation of international law of extradition and disobedience of court orders, is enjoying immunity because Supreme Court justice have decided to try the justice for obedience to the executive arms of the government. If Supreme Court judges can expedite actions on the case involving Nigerian politicians, what stopped them from expediting 
actions on the extraordinary rendition and human rights abuse of Mazin Namdekano, who is currently very sick. Biafran's further question if the Supreme Court justice are based, biased, or are they promoting ethnic biagata in dispensing justice? Do the men on the bench want the world to believe that they are the executive branch of Nigerian government stooges? We ask. You can see that it is so called Supreme Court, like we have continued to say. Is BS. What it does is listen to that thing in Asorok who the Kabas are remoting from pit of hell just to commit atrocities. A man was kidnapped, brought back to Nigeria dubiously, and the court of law set him free. Instead, the criminal minded government. If APC went to Supreme Court to attend stay of execution, and to date, the so-called Supreme Court has refused to say something about the case because they are working for the so-called Buhari government and the cabals of the Northern Extraction, headed by some Igbo governors. She. I am ashamed of the United Nations. I am ashamed of the EU. I am ashamed of Amnesty International. I am ashamed of the international community. I am ashamed of ECOWAS. Every other people who are supposed to be doing the right thing are not bears making sure that they serve some criminally minded British government who has bent in destroying the innocent France and their only brave leader who uses his brain and his sense. He knows when to call it quit and he knows when to continue. Nobody can stop the reggae just that nobody can stop this freedom. No matter what you do. They may think that nobody seen them, but believe me, the world are watching. The day we do something rash, nobody will blame us. Because we have continued to do the nefo by enlightening the world so that they will understand that we are respectable people who are here to fight for our right, not the other way around. They wanted to intimidate us because of election. They wanted to destroy us. And we made sure that something like that didn't happen. Their useless election, shred of election has finished. And they continue to keep Mazen Nam the Khan in DSS custody. They are in us to know what we can do. Some people normally come to this channel to ask all sort of rubbish questions. You are not feeding me. You are not contributing to in this channel. What you do is to watch my news. The only thing I can do for you, if you so much believe in action, is to send out some messages through this channel. And when you listen from the beginning to the end, and you believe you have sense, you use your brain, you understand some kind of things that I say here. We can help you to achieve what you want. You don't go to another place and bath and go to another place to collect your toy. Every damn thing I said, I am capable. Apart from money aspect of it. You don't respect a man like me who maybe can only boost up 200 million in my account to go on and use my money. To champion something that my man can't even be up to. Nobody is a fool. For those of you 
who come here to rant. Those who are giving the money, what have they achieved? Says one year, nothing. So don't come here to tell me, jackals. We must say the things the way it is. If really you want to improve, always go through my news. In any news that I read, I always give out some point. And any point I give out is something that can work. Not a man see. You don't expect me to come to social media and start saying everything. If you are serious, you know what to do. Like I said, you don't expect someone who have maybe less than 300 million in account to go on to achieve something that can cost billions. I may have uh, everything that is needed in this whole thing, but I don't have that much money. Talk less of using it on something that is for the whole people of Biafra. So stop ranting and continue to listen to the news Why I continue to dish out some point. If you have your brain, you can use it. It's not about her talking trash. It's about having the liver. Having the, having the capability. Bravery. And consistency. Those things are have it all. The means. But you that claim you have it all and have money. What the hell are you doing? I will not continue to waste my time with some non entities. Who doesn't know where they're heading to? I think I've come to the end of this news.